My mom had this huge rock bed growing up. Weeds would grow all crazy through the cracks, turn everything all ugly, you know? Now, moms wouldn't let me use the chemicals on the garden weeds. I had to pick those by hand. But on that rock bed, she'll let me have at it with those chemicals. I still remember the first week I sprayed the weeds. Nothing really happened. The weeds popped right back up. The following week, same thing. But after a while, I noticed the weeds were barely growing. If at all, at first I was happy. I felt like they went on to somebody else's yard to torture, you know? But I think that's when it hit me. It wasn't that they didn't want to grow. It was that they couldn't grow. I poisoned the ground. That's what it always felt like in my hood, you know? A whole bunch of poison dumped on our heads, saturating the ground for generations. And they wonder why we still can't grow. Hello, my favorite girl. How you doing, Ma? Good boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doctors told you it was okay for you to be driving these meds, Ma? No, but I'd rather it be me picking you up and not that boy. When was the last time you talked to him? Three, four years, man. So, the whole time. I mean, he looked out for me a couple of times. But and you took it. I was hurting in there. Ma, you swerving. I know what I'm doing. You swerving, Ma. Ma, pull over the car. Pull over the car, Ma. Pull over right here. Right here, you good. You good. Mm -hmm. Let me drive. Medicines make my hands stiff. It's all the more reason why you. <coughs> Are you okay? Mm -hmm. It's all the more reason you shouldn't be driving. Look what we got over here. Look. Still here? Barely. I remember that book. I remember used to go on those church retreats, me, you, and Pop. Yeah, I used to make me learn whole scriptures by the time we get to the destination. We had to occupy you somehow to keep you from driving us crazy. Well, by making me car sick, learning all those chapters like that. It worked. <laughs> I hope this is the last time, Coy. I'm getting old. It is. We do what we cannot say, be the one getting our way. 
walk down to the lowest slope when the concrete hit your face. We walk in the darkest streets, just the hot go running shade. When the sun give light away, we'll sweat out all the pain. Huh? If I want to be that change, would I need to give up things? Will I have to tie my hands? Be a bird that got no wings. <laughs> oh, my God. Be nice, Skylar. What y'all feeding this girl? She the tallest one in her class, too. You sure you ain't the tallest one in the school? Jesus. Skylar, give your daddy a hug, girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, don't be that way. Oh, uh, really? That's how you gonna do me? Don't be that way. Look pretty. Hey, Angel. Hey. Well, yeah, you gonna help your grandma in the house. Mm-hmm. Come on. That farm around my waist, I'll hug yours. Mom, she's bigger than both of y'all, man. It's crazy. Look what she get it from. Hell, she eating up everything in the house. So it's a little pay for me to get a hug. Stop acting like that. Dang, Corey, put me down. Stop playing. I hope you ain't bringing any kind of niggas around our daughter, seeing you know, all your little do business like that, Don't man. do that. Don't do that. Because if you was doing what you supposed to be doing, that wouldn't even be an issue. So how much time I got with her? I'll give you a few extra days, Corey, since you just get home. Because y'all gonna need it. You know I'm gonna do what I can, Corey. But it's right. easier on everybody when you ain't locked up. Hey, that little money I owe you, right? I know I'm behind and everything. Officer charged in the death of Corey Jones is trying to get those charges dropped by using Florida State for ground defense. He was in fear of imminent death or great bodily harm when he shot Mr. Corey Jones. Corey Jones's car had broken down on the side of the road in Palm Beach Gardens in October 2015. He was on the phone with roadside assistance when Newman Raja approached, but Raja was in plain clothes, driving an unmarked van, and had no badge or radio. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Raja claims he did ID himself and in the end fired six shots killing the church drummer. I'm not gonna lie to you, these are difficult days. Difficult days even for me. We do not act in times of fear. Our God is not a God of fear. Our God is not a God of confusion. Our God is a God of righteousness. Our God is a just God. Thank you, Jesus. Cora Jones, he will get justice. Our community will get justice. For that is the Lord, and we are the Lord. The last time you was in this church was your father's funeral. How long was that? 14 years. 14 years. Are you serious? You know what? Come here, come here. See his name right there? J.W. Miller. Trustee 1979. Mm-hmm. Sure enough. I like that, man. That's cool. Yeah, I thought you might. I thought you might. Corey, it's real good to see you back here, man. Real good. Feel good to be back. What? You, uh, talk to Poodle? Why would I be talking to Poodle? Does he want to talk to you? <laughs> How would you know that, Pastor? Just go on by. See what he got to say, OK? Let me get on back in here. This ain't gonna be the last time I see you, is it? All right. How y'all doing? How you doing?
Randy? Can I help you? I'm Coy. May sent me. Oh. Hey, hey you, you the new guy. Yeah, how you doing? Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Uh, Coy, you know anything about boats? No, nah, I can't say that I do. I, I never even been on a boat before. You got to be kidding me. Another greenhorn. Listen, so. you know you live in Florida. You know there's water on all, all three sides. sides. Yeah. I guess when you got so many problems on dry land, it's kind of hard to imagine what could be better out there. general men's meeting where we can talk about things that are affecting the men. Mm -hmm. And I heard the brother saying, you know, sometimes men can be macho and, mm -hmm. you know, try to hold their feelings in, but it's very important for us to have somebody to talk to. Yes, sir. You know, we, we're going back to our, our scriptural topic that we found the Iron Man on, Proverbs 27 and 17, that tells us that iron sharpens iron, so does a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. So that's what, that's how we got Iron Man. So it's, it's nice to know that you got a brother that you can talk to. Oh, oh look magnificent. Look at you. Welcome on, Nick. Hold up, Pete. You know you ain't have to do all this, right? Oh, what? This whole party thing, man, the whole surprise party thing, you know what I'm talking about, man. You done brought the vest out and everything, man. This ain't shit. <laughs> Five years ain't nothing to a cash money, nigga. No. Remember? Five years ain't nothing to a cash money, nigga. Welcome home, man. My main man gotta shine a little better than that. You ain't have to do this, man. I mean, I'm gonna rock this motherfucker, though, you know what I'm saying? But if you slip and you fall, get up and we ball, nigga. Fuck it. You ready to get back in these streets or what? That's what I was gonna talk to you about, man. Trying to do shit a little different this time, you know what yeah. I mean? Different hat. You know, like anything that ain't illegal. Snake <laughs> thing. Anything that ain't illegal, huh? No disrespect, homie. But scholar deserve better than nine to five chump change, homie. I'm trusting in God, P. What you talking about, God? Don't you think a man are gonna come from the sky, nigga? And stop your stomach from rumbling? It's real money out here, man. Get the money. Angela. If I know Angela, I know Angela. She got you by the balls and the child support. I know that. How much you owe? P, what you doing right now? What you, you just came home. How much you owe? Man, what I owe you? Ask the question. Man. How much you owe, man? How much I owe? How much you owe? I owe $8,000 a child. $8,000, That's what I owe. Eight grand, Eight huh? bands, Poodle. 
Lord, come on time. That's 10. Keep the change. You ain't got to do this, B. I know. I want to. That's yours. Rocks in the road, they got it sneaking out the sleeve. Cuff link 24 G's. Please, exotic if she trying to get acquainted. She talking out of turn, I'ma teach her sign language. Smug. What's up, man? You like what you see? She already paid for it. She paid for it. to take a rain check on this one. Well, I'll see you later. Hey. And you know if well, P asks you something, you know what I mean? Just um We had a great time. <laughs> I need you every minute. I need you every hour. For without you, oh God, I am nothing. Where would I be? What would I do? Where would I go? Without your guidance and your protection, oh God. I come before you, oh God, just as I am. What's the name of that school again of yours? JFK. Yeah, you go to Kennedy, huh? Mm -hmm. I went to Kennedy. Hey, you know, uh, you know when I get my license, right? You're gonna have to catch the bus. Uh, I'd rather ride the bus. You'd rather ride the bus. Yeah. Then ride with me? Yeah. Come on, set. Nope. No time to react. Yo, man. What up, bro? Mm -hmm. What's your name, little man? KJ. What position you play? Trying to play quarterback. There's no trying to play with an arm like that. You gonna play, bro. You ain't not here in these streets, is you? No, I ain't me. <laughs> oh, boy. Mike, stop dragging your feet. It, not really. It, it really doesn't. Huh? What? You out here on some real important ground right now, man. A lot of famous football players come from around here. You even got Devin Hester, man. He already a Hall of Famer. Hey, come on. Let's go. I told you not to run on rock and now I'm about to bake. You keep throwing that ball like that, and you keep catching that ball like that, I don't see why no reason you don't be next. Yeah, no luck. I'm just cruising through my city. Cruising, cruising.
and groovy, and she pretty. Cutting corners, blowing marijuana, sipping on this any cruising through my city. Pockets full, they never empty. Reminiscing on how all them niggas did me. I'm just grooving through my city. Feeling groovy, and she pretty. Cutting corners, blowing marijuana, sipping on this any cruising through my city. What you doing? You can't see I'm still in the bathroom? And you definitely don't come in here using the bathroom while a man in the bathroom. What's wrong with you? But you're not other man. You're my dad. It don't matter, Skylar. You don't do that. That's not something you're supposed to do. It's not appropriate. And I need you to do my hair. Skylar, get your grandma to do your hair. She can't. Her hands hurt. Do it tighter. Skylar, I said I'm doing it. You got to give me a chance. Well, you're not doing it right. You're well, not I don't do this right. every day. I don't do this every day, okay? Calm now, that down. part right there, you need to be doing that under, not over. Yes, ma'am. Can you please do it tighter? I'm doing it tighter, Scott, okay? Well, I don't feel it. How's that? No, tighter. Yeah, okay. All right. Up. Hey. I got some for you. What's this? It's everything I owe you in child support. I don't want it. What do you mean you don't want it? I don't want I it. I owe you the money. You're gonna take the money. It's, I owe you that. Coy, when we talked about all this, it was in hopes that you would step up and be there for our daughter as a man. It wasn't okay for you to just go out and go do something stupid that's gonna land you right back in jail again, Coy? I'm not do something stupid. It ain't even like that. I ain't doing nothing. So where you get the money from, Coy? I get the money from Pooda, Aunt. I should've known. <laughs> I should've known that. That's a coming home gift from Pooda that was already set out for me already before I even came home. I don't gotta do nothing for it and I don't gotta pay it back. With Pooda? Yeah, that's right. With you Poudre. really believe that? I can't win with you, man. Thank you. This is going to help us. I hope so. Hey, you got to keep your face on the wall, you feel me? I mean, the back on the wall, my nigga. That's the only way you're going to survive out here, my nigga. What you been doing, though? Nigga trying to get it, my nigga. I was trying to flip a little something here, flip a little something there, you know what I mean? I didn't have I need, a, I need a call where you at? You, nigga, you can call me all day long. I'm going to let you do what you do. You know, I'll fuss with you long. Well, fucking way, you feel me? Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. How you doing? You all right? Yo, I need a backwood, Sammy. Single backwood. Yeah. Papito, thank you. Yeah, let me get a bag from you, Papa. What's happening, Wolf? What's happening, homeboy? What's up? You good? Nah, I ain't good. I need some of that right there. What you got, man? Yeah. Shit louder than a motherfucker, B. Thank God. Appreciate that, dog. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got it on the inside, huh? <clears throat> Nah, I'm smoking like it's an inside B. <coughs> you know me, huh? Shit, we don't know you. All right. I appreciate that, fam. No, I'm scared. You good. That's what's up, Wolf. You just see me around. All right. Les, this is Coy. Hey, Coy, up, this Coy? is Les. I need yeah. you to show him the ropes real quick, OK? Sure, yeah. All right? I appreciate you. Right? Yeah. a little demonstration here. You can roll, and I'll tip. It's called roll and tip. Roll and tip. So you roll from here.
What's up, Randy? Side if I feel oh, cold. Oh, 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 no problem. Come on, come on, come on. I was finishing up anyhow. All right. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Have a seat. So you reading a good book. What church you go to? Oh, man, I just kind of jumped from church to church, you know, trying to learn all the perspectives, to get the views, see if they match the ones that I had when I had my church. You had a church? I had a little storefront church. Uh, a ten handful of folk, but boy, we had some church up in there. So what happened to it? Yeah, uh, Corey, you really want to know? Yeah. Truthfully, I let it go. I guess because I was scared. Scared of what? I don't know. I, it not growing. Wouldn't provide enough income for my family. I understand that. that I could feed them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fred, that there would be some pretty young thing sitting up there with a skirt all the way up there to her thighs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. My name would be Dirt. Mm. I didn't realize Cor had more excuses than I had faith. You sound a little bit like Gideon to me. <laughs> what? What you know about Gideon? <laughs> Come on, man. I know a little something, something. Well, you know, the boys and I, we usually have a little get together, you know? We discuss some things, we talk, and we support each other. You know, iron sharp and iron. It's people sharp and people. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I get it. I mean, I mean if that's an invite, I don't mind, I'll, I'll check it out. You should. Yeah. You should, and um, maybe one day I'll come to your church. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> <laughs> a killing that is excusable or was committed by the use of justifiable deadly force is lawful. If you find Corey Jones was killed by Newman Raja, you will then consider the circumstances surrounding the killing in deciding if the killing was manslaughter or whether the killing was excusable or resulted from justifiable use of deadly force. Newman Raja is not guilty, and he should be found not guilty. And that doesn't mean that this isn't the saddest thing that could ever have possibly happened. It's horrible, but that doesn't make it a crime. The last three shots are so deliberate and so methodical. It's as though he's just at the range, practicing, or he's, he's hunting, you know, he's, he's lining up his sight. Boom. 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 Now, if none of those three hit him, then guess what? Because if he had sustained, if he sustained all three shots in the first set of three, those last three attempted first to be murder. Hey, Skylar, what's up? Hey. Well, I'm gonna see you later, right? You ain't gonna see her later, okay. partner. What's up? Yours first. Hey, you keep saying you got a man, but I ain't seen him yet. And I asked Skylar about him, and she don't know nothing about him either. Maybe I'm just trying to keep him away from you. Huh, really? Maybe he don't exist. I've seen a football player or something like that do that once or something. Coy, whether he exists or not, it's none of your business. Why you gotta act like that? Huh? One dinner, that's all I'm asking you. Just one chance. Talk. That's it. Just relax a little bit. Give me, give me some time. Let me get myself together. Let me go in here, clean up a little bit. Coy.
off, huh? What's up, man? Light, like that loud shit. Like that loud shit. It's a little too loud for me. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you think about getting back out here? It's a big world out here, man. You gotta, gotta get out there, man. That's smart. You need to tell your homeboy the same thing. My homeboy, who that? Who? <laughs> Got problems or something? Nah, ain't no problem. You know, you just stepping the people way out here, you know, trying to get some money, but you know how that go. Ain't no problem, though. Speak to Shanice. Yo, what up, man? This Coy from, from the welcome home party. How you doing? I don't know. I was um I was calling to see if you wanted to hang out or something like that. Congratulations, V. I'm on my way, all right? Numb right now. She just got real quiet. I'm not just doing it for me no more. You know, my pops used to say, um, life, if you just Pay your bills on time. Treat people right. <laughs> and learn how to cook for yourself. You'll be all right. Guess so. <laughs> Which one of those you think I got right? Take this in the delivery room. Oh, it's like one of them little mask things. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Make sure you put it on, man. Let them get what we got. Ma, you all right in there? I'm fine. Temperature still good? Perfect. All right. I 
I'm ready. Yeah, I just can't reach my back the way I used to. Sometimes I can't eat it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Don't cheat. You're I'm, cheating. I'm not cheating. Yes, I'm you not are. Cheating. See? You're using I'm hands. not cheating. No, because I'm I'm trying to learn for the first time. Scholar, what do you want? All right. Just okay. a game. Uh -huh. Thank you, lost. Layups, Scott, all layups. Layups, Jazz. <laughs> One more time. Just for the money. You can't miss this one. Let's go. Go. Ah. There you go. There you go. Come on. Two against one. Yeah. I get the ball first. Oh, no. What? Oh, look at you, girl. Oh, that's a foul, man. No nope. plan. <laughs> so I got a plan? Huh? All right, ball in, let's go. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I won. <laughs> he really thought he was gonna win. You got it. You can't beat me! <laughs> you got it? Good game. Good game, Jasmine. But you better not be talking about who you're gonna meet. Who's that little boy on the bicycle anyway? <laughs> who is that? Anyway, tell him he can't be calling you. Ain't none of that. You don't play. Okay. Yeah. Oh. If you would have cooked like this when we was together, I probably would have still been around. It took a little bit more than a home cooked meal to keep you around. I had too much shit going on back then, you know? You said it, not me. What about now? You ain't think a little chicken and pasta was gonna <laughs> woo me, did you? No, but it shows I'm putting forth effort, I guess. Well, try with some other chick who don't know you like I know you. And what that supposed to mean? You don't have a clue as to why I left, do you? I told you to leave. You only told me to leave because you knew I had done checked out anyway. Don't try to act like you was doing me a favor now, Coy. All right, then, Angela. Why did you leave? Junebug, Mike, Mike. You don't remember that, do you? Hell, after the fourth or fifth one, I was wondering if you was next. And I just was not about to be the next chick bearing her dude because of the streets. Wow, I mean, I'm Catholic, but uh, there's no way I'd be able to snooze off in here. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, you know, as you may or may not know, I am running for county commissioner. You heard about it. Mm -hmm. now, I set up my offices right down the street, right in this very community, because I wanted to be closer to the people who I am buying to serve. Now, I truly believe that this community has been let down by its government. Good, I hope you are. You know, since, since we are in a church today, let, let me give you a little biblical example, if you will allow me. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, in the Bible, during his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus told his followers that if a soldier was required to carry his equipment for one mile, that he should carry it for two. All right, now, we call that going the extra mile. Let me tell my brothers and sisters something here today. I will go that extra mile for you. The healing of this country starts in the communities that we live, work, and play in every day. Right. Mm -hmm. If you 
give me your vote at the polls. I promise to work for a better future for every citizen in this county. What about the students? And Corey Jones, will he be given justice? Yeah. Will he be another detective? Come on now. Spinning bean, Gucci down, shooting glocks out of scat pack. Cook a nigga soul, feed his ass to the pavement. Gang shit, cook a nigga block with the mosh tape. Boss bitch, like to flip the money, make it make sense. Big wrist, I hit the road with some big shit. Big dog sitting in the trap with a whole brick. Make a nigga fiend fall like just one hit. 448 in the kitchen. Wrap up a bell, I be done in a minute. Doing the dash on the alpha ticket. The shit that I'm rapping, I live. You got a job for you? That's up for you, nigga. Yeah. What's up, y'all, boy? What's up? What's up, man? Shit, just chilling, man. We just chilling, you know? See that car right there? Anybody want to buy that bitch? You know anybody? That scoop old car, though, man. You going to sell it? What's wrong with it? Yeah, shit, you know we got to now. Where the rims at? Them bitches was stolen before we can even close the casket, bro. All this cash you was making, you mean to tell me we had to sell fish dinners, bro, to bury your stupid ass? That shit deep. If I was out here, I would have had a life insurance policy on myself, you feel me, bro? Yeah. For real? Damn. Keep your head up, Nene, all right? All right, bet, bro. Last piece! Last piece! Last Stole them bicycles. You mean bike? Shit, buddy came out there with that motherfucking machete, man. I was out of there. We didn't even get a chance to get to the second one. You remember that? I remember, but <laughs> I thought I thought you were gonna jump on the back of the bike. Hell no. Nah. You blow past me on feet, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Beat me home. Now I looked over my shoulder. I seen buddy with the blade. <laughs> Bought the Hussein boat out my motherfucking ass. I was blade, out of there. nigga. Yeah, it was. It was that ass whooping. That ass whooping that your people's gonna put on your ass, nigga, if you got caught. <laughs> That's what it was. We're all angry police right now, fool. Yeah, this shit crazy, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> but you know who ain't losing no sleep over this shit? Who that? Niggas like us. Because we live in this shit every motherfucking damn day, homie. I'm straight. My family's straight. My niggas straight. Fuck else matters, Court. Shit, I mean. What about the people that ain't straight, Pooh? Shit, what about them? 
Where the fuck they was at when I ain't had two dimes to roll together? Living day to day, starving and shit. Where the fuck they was at, Cor? They ain't got no sympathy for me. Fuck, I got sympathy for them for. Huh? I mean, there's way more other people out there to think about, man. I, all we ever did was take from the game, Poodle. <laughs> what you gave back to the game? <laughs> really, though, I mean, like, come on, think about it. What you ever gave back to the game? That Bible fucking your head up. Get rid of that shit, man. Throw that shit in the Atlantic Ocean or something. Why is that, Poodle? Why? Yeah, why? The crackers gave that book to us to tame a nigga, that's why. Nigga, we kings and queens out here. Kings and queens. Nigga took the gold from the crown of our head, nigga, and put that shit in our mouth, nigga. Now every time we speak, it's king shit, nigga. What you forgot? We are what we are. Ain't no running from it, homie. I want you to think about that. I know how to do that. I mean, you wreck a shit, I bet that I could move that. Put this shit on every street and I could prove that. Ma! 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 Mm. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Get up, ma. Get up, ma. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Drink some water. Drink some water. It's okay. <coughs> get around my neck, right? Right, right. You up. Take your time, I'm gonna help you up now. Mm -hmm. Tight, come on. Come on, come on, come on, ma. Mm. Okay. Back, back a little bit more. Mm. It's your legs. Go ahead, I got you. Mm. I don't know what happened. I'm so tired, Corey. some shit right quick and I'm gonna be over there, man. Stop playing, just make sure you're ready. Share with us. No pressure. Maybe the next time. Yeah. Amen. Hi, I'm Detective Falana. How you doing, Detective? Can I help you with something? Cam is in the neighborhood searching for leads on the homicide that took place last night. Oh. Um, yeah. I heard somebody got killed down there. Y'all got a, a name for him or something like that? We haven't released any names, but he goes by the name Black. You know him? No, ma'am. I, I don't know Black. Well, did you hear the shooting last night? No, ma'am. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm... Over 15 rounds and you didn't hear anything. Look, ma'am, I, I, I've been living around here so long, it's like, um, it's like elevator music or something like that to me, you know what I mean? Like, like sometimes you hear it, sometimes you don't. Give me a call. How's the job down there at the dock, sir? It's actually going good, man. Pastor, you know I appreciate you for this, you know that. Anytime, man, anytime. You do what you gotta do, all right? I'm trying, man. Listen, let me get up out of your head, man. I gotta get out of here. I'll talk to you later. All right, Pastor. Up 
feet. What you doing here? I thought you was all anti-religious and all that. Can't tell the pastor that black back here. Pastor no black? Pastor ladies know everything. Sorry about what happened to black though, man. This detective chick came by like asking questions or like looking for tips or something. Heard anything? No, I mean, I ain't heard nothing. You? Nothing. When I find out who killed Black, you got to go. Him and the next generation. Over. You with me? Take care of you for five years. This how you act. This how you act. Don't bring that up in my face right now. I'm just saying, man. If they kill black, it's gonna be too long before they after me. Stay up, my man. You know, I can remember one time I was traveling. And uh, it was a bad storm. I mean, it was a storm, it was raining. I couldn't hardly see. But my mind said to keep going because I'm gonna go out of that storm. Mm -hmm. But if I were to stop in that storm, yeah, then it would it, it would have beat me up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, sometimes you just got to keep going. You got to go through. Yeah. And I kept going, I kept on, and about a mile down the road, it was sunny. Yeah. I was out of that storm. And that's sometimes we got to think, when we going through the storm, we got to hold tight to God's unchanging hand. Father, we just thank you for your thank grace, you. Thank you. for your mercy. Thank you. We thank you, Father, for these brethren that are accountable to each other. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. And Father, we just pray, God, that you would unify our hearts, yes. unify us, strengthen us, God, as men, yes. that we'll be who you called us to be. God. Oh, yes. yes. And to each one that is here tonight, where you're coming back next for the next meeting, bring someone with you. Amen. Amen. How much time you got? The doctor say ain't no point in taking medication no more. Said I might as well just enjoy the time I got left without being sick from medication on top of being sick already. But whose report shall we believe? Hmm? We shall believe the report of the Lord. That's right. <laughs> the doctor ain't my God. Coy, you're going a little bit too fast. Slow down. Coy, did you hear me? You need to slow down. This is dangerous. Coy, stop this damn chair right now. Coy, you stop it. <laughs> <laughs> ma, you were scared, ma. <laughs> you were scared, were you? <laughs> I just wanted to give you a little bit of life, huh? Aren't you feeling all sad worrying about this? Oh, man, you should have seen the look on your face. I was holding on, too, wasn't I? See. I? You gripped that handle so tight. Ah, uh, yes, I did. 25 some years since I've been cussing, and now you got me doing that right before I'm about to die. Pop should have seen that, ma. Oh, my goodness, he would have laughed so hard.
thing, Ma? Hey, Corey. You okay? Yeah, I was about to read some of my scriptures, but my eyes getting so bad. Hmm. Come on and read it. Read them for me. Come on. Want me to read? Isaiah 40, somewhere near the bottom. Isaiah 40. Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm, yes, ma'am, right here. All right. The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weak. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Good night, Mom. Good night. You got everything you need, right? Yeah. <laughs> you usually make me buy the orientation now. No, I'm talking about a junkie. Mm -hmm. like, I've heard a lot of basketball players play football. You want to practice today, ain't you? Yeah. All right, I'm going to make sure. Mm -hmm. I love you. Or well, you don't want to be seen with your dad, huh? Yo, Coy. Coy. Yo, what's up, I man? need you to drop everything right now, man. It's urgent. I need you to come over here. All right. Coy, I got uh, a phone call. All right. It's not good. What, you fire me or something, man? No, man. Not even. Your mom just passed. We just got the news. I'm sorry. But you know who my 
us that I realize we make plans and God has plans. When Oscar was killed, my first response to God was, God, you said that we would be in ministry together. God, you said that we would minister, we would go different places together. And I was really crying and having a pity party. And God spoke to me and told me, look around. You are in ministry together. Don't wait until it happens to you. Come together with your community now. We have to stop the violence. And this is why we fight. I also remember my phone call from Sabrina that day when we lost Corey. I was getting ready to sit and, sit and have dinner with a friend of mine. And um, she called and said that something had happened to Corey. So what do you mean something happened to Corey? He's been shot. So who was your Corey? Corey? I'm thinking now, another cousin name was Corey. I said, we just don't have Corey back. Corey doesn't bother with me anymore. And she called back. She said, Sabrina, she said, yeah, she, he's gone. And, uh, Immediately left the restaurant in tears, couldn't contain myself. Somebody say, but God. But God. Up. How you feel? You know, I pulled to see my mama in that box, man. Made me realize one thing today, man. Yeah, what's that? I couldn't live with myself if something happened to you out here in these streets, bro. And I knew something about it. didn't say nothing about it. That was bars that we did that they like, man. I motherfucking knew it, nigga. Snake ass nigga. How long you knew, fam? Same night, man. I ain't get a good look at the driver. The bars was shooting. He was shooting, huh? Whose side you on, man? You want to be on them niggas' side? That's what you want to do? Good. I'll run through all that shit, nigga. This shit chestnut checkers, homie. Eat or get eight, nigga. Man, you a clown, man. I ain't tell you because I knew what it was going to mean, fuck bro. That. Pull it. Want, I can't let you go out there by yourself like that. I'm good by myself, I know nigga. you good, What the fuck dog? you mean? I'm going with you, bro. I keep tabs on all my enemies, nigga. You know what I'm Look, we finna go enough, make this shit like the old days, my nigga. In and out, my nigga. This shit ABC ain't nothing new. Anything that you see, even boys wrong, blank fart shit, whatever you see going on in there, kill that shit in the night, my nigga. You know what I'm saying?
You read? How it was done was this prohibition not to eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge. That was the one sure way of, being, to be, of getting it eaten. But of course, when the Lord God accused Adam and said, you've been eating of that tree, I told you not to eat. And uh, he passed the buck to Eve and said, this woman that thou gavest me, she tempted me and I did eat. And he looked at Eve, now what about it? She said, well, it was the serpent. He looked at the serpent. The serpent didn't say anything because he knew too much, and he wasn't going to give away the show. Look on your lap, nigga. It's real money out here. I done told you that time after time. Get money, nigga. What you over there looking all sad and shit for? You act like that was your dog or something, nah, man. wasn't my fucking dog. It was his dog, nigga, Buddha. fuck that much. It's out of That the nigga Varus lucky he wasn't in there. That nigga be dead too, nigga. Buddha, you shot his fucking dog, bro. Nah, I told you anything that motherfucking move in the house. Look on your lap, nigga. Hey, take this little bullshit-ass little money, man. This little bullshit-ass money, you think that's money? Yeah. Take that little money yeah, and yeah. make us even, right? That make us even, right, B? The prodigal son determined to go home. Go home. Go home. Do your nine to five thing. Go home, man. Matter of fact, since you finna go home, do me one more favor before you leave. What's dog, that, and, you, and you can you can get up out What's of this that, shit. Run this bag in another one of my workers for me, man. Fuck damn time you got to get. Thou nah, shalt not lie to that brother, right? For this nigga? Yo, I'm not working for him. I'm working for the church. What this you doing? Boy. You working for this nigga? Talk about what? What you talking to me church, about? Court. I can explain My everything. father was a founding member of yes, the church. Yes, I know that. That's why I'm trying to do this. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help the church. That. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay? Court. I want you to see who God is, nigga. It's you, Stop. nigga. I ain't your motherfucking God, nigga. Ain't my God, nigga. Boy, leave it. Fuck you mean I ain't your God, nigga? God been taking care of your bitch for the last five years, nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up now, P? Huh? What's up now, P? Listen to me, put the gun down. You ain't got the heart to squeeze that motherfucker, nigga. Thou shalt not kill, right? Thou shalt not kill, right? If you try to follow me or come looking for me, P, I'ma blow your fucking brains out, P. You ain't gonna do shit, you soft, nigga. Put the gun down. me, P. And you better shut the fuck up. Every member of your congregation gonna know about you. You done got soft, yeah, nigga. I got soft. Don't test me, P. Don't test me, P. Stop and listen to him, boy. Get the fuck away from my car. Listen to your God, boy. God! God! You sound like a little bitch, man. Get the motherfucking money. Breaking audio Corey Jones Killing just released. Be advised, this may disturb some. Thank you for calling AT&T Roadside Assistance. This is Maddie. May I have your mobile number to better assist you? 561-573-315. And what's the name on it? Corey Jones. Okay, give me one moment to pull up the account.
did you steal the boat? I ain't steal it. I borrowed it. We're going to bring it right back. What's up? You all right out there? Yeah? You don't look like you smile or something. Hey, look, you see that bunk over there? That was built for President Kennedy. Just in case something happened out here and the whole world went up in flames. Was it ever used? Nah, I don't think so. But we still got time, though. <laughs> right over here is the rich people. Right across the water is the poor people. Don't nothing separate us but water. Turn right. Turn right. All right, you got it? I got your gas. Don't worry about that. Just turn right a little bit more. You got it? Based on your profession of faith, in accordance with the Lord's command, I baptize you, Skylar McDonald, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost to be buried in the likeness of his death and to be raised in the likeness of his resurrection and also to walk in the newness of life. Doing, mama. We, the jury, find as follows. As to count one, we find a defendant guilty of manslaughter while armed with a firearm as charged in the information. As to count two, we find a defendant guilty of attempted first degree murder as charged in the information. Palm Beach Gardens Police Officer Newman Raja's trial, uh, it was found that he was guilty of manslaughter with a firearm which is a, an offense punishable by up to 30 years in prison, also guilty of attempted first-degree murder, uh, which could mean 25 years to life in prison. Faith will cause us and have us with the ability that we can step out on the wall. Just like old patriarch Peter, he had just enough faith to be able to step out of the boat onto the water and walk. Are there any water walkers in the house tonight? Hey, Court. Pete, what up? What's happening, Court? I'm chilling. Hey, Skyler. Skyler. How's the inside going, all right? Okay. Boy, I ain't seen you in a minute, man, since we first started protesting around here over the Court Jones murder. Yeah, them was some crazy times, right? I just remember everybody being so angry, you know? Mad, especially y'all. Y'all was hot, cuz. Y'all was ready to burn, loop, steal, everything. It was wild, man. But to be honest with you, to burn down my own city, even if they would've let that cop off the hook, I just, I just couldn't do it, bro. Why not? And today, we are rejoicing. We are rejoicing for the victory. And I just want to take uh, this time out to say we want to pray for the victim family. Yeah. We know that they are hurt, too. I don't know, bro. I guess in the back of my mind, I'm thinking that if I burn it down, what they going to replace it with? You see, we already ain't got nothing around here as it is now. And then, you know, we don't want to see no other liquor store around here. You know nah, what I mean? We definitely don't need another liquor store around here tomorrow. You, gonna, you know, I ain't going to hold you up. I'm going to let you get your church in. Yeah, I need all the blessings I can get right now, man. Yeah. It's good to see you, though, man. We got to link up. For real, man. Most definitely, man. All right? Hey, you hold it down. 100, baby. Who 
who is it that sits at the left hand of God? We know who sits at the right hand. It's hushed up, because that's the side where the district attorney sits. And in the book of Job, of course, you know, Satan is the district attorney at the court of heaven. He's the prosecutor. He's a faithful servant of the court. Because, you see, the, the whole problem is, it, it would be very bad indeed if God were the author of evil and we were his victims. That is to say, if we keep the model of the king of the universe and the creatures are all subjects of the king, then a God who is responsible for evil is being very unkind to other people. But in this theory, God is not another person. There are no victims of God. He's never anything but his own victim. You are responsible. And if you want to stay in the state of illusion, stay in it. But you can always wake up.